These are pretty difficult to do on the flat ground, and since it's so slippery today, it's going to be extra difficult for me. But hopefully, that will force me to use proper form, which you'll be able to see and learn better from it. But to start out, I'm going to come in at a pretty slow pace, and when I pick my spot that I want to pivot, I'm going to grab both brakes to compress the suspension, and also push down into the forks to try to get the forks to compress more, because I'm going to use that rebound when it's ready to come up. When the forks are ready to rebound, that's when I'm going to bring my body back towards the rear of the seat and try to put weight over the rear tire. And as I'm coming back, I'm going to let the clutch out with some throttle and pull back on the handlebars to bring the front wheel up. And also, I'm going to plant my foot. And as the front tire comes up and my foot's planted, that's going to naturally start the rotation. And then I'll work the clutch and the rear brake to try to keep it up as long as I can to bring it around to the full 180. If you don't need to bring it all the way around, you don't have to bring the front end up quite as much. You can do a little bit at a time, just bring it up a bit to try to square yourself up for a corner, tighten up the corner, and set it down where you want. Since it is so slippery today, I'm not going to be able to just pop the clutch when I wheelie. I'll have to slip it a little bit and be a little bit smoother on the power. If it is dry and you have plenty of traction, you can pop it a little bit quicker and that will help get the front tire up easier and it'll just be easier to do. But since it's so slick, it's going to be pretty tricky for me. If you are struggling with this on the flat ground, you can try to use a platform like a stump or a rock, something to plant your foot on. This will just give you a little bit more leverage and also more room to work with when the front tire's up. You have a little more room between your legs. So the technique is the same and you can play around with putting your foot down before or after the suspension is compressed to see what works better for you. But as soon as you're ready to bring the front tire up, you want to look in the direction you want to go. So just rotate your head and shoulders in that direction and then once it's up you can also work the angle of the bike with your arms just try to force it back and forth you don't want it to roll too far one way or the other you want it to be right in the middle nice and controlled set your front tire down where you want and ride away smooth it's important to practice these in a variety of different spots because you never know when you're going to need to turn around quickly on a trail so here i have a bank and i'm going to come straight at it and pivot off of it the technique is going to be very similar but i'm not going to use the brakes quite as much I still want to compress the fork some to help the lift of the front tire, but since my front tire is already up higher than the rear tire, just letting the clutch out and getting my weight over the back end, the front end is going to come up pretty easy. But one thing to keep in mind when you are doing it on a bank like this is that your foot will be lower than the bike, lower than the rear tire. So the bike is going to be up high and it's going to put a lot of weight on your foot. So you want to make sure you plant it well and you're strong and flexible so you don't end up with the bike on top of you. You can also look for obstacles to pivot the front tire off of if you want to be able to rotate a little bit quicker. So here I have an angled rock, I can come in and slam the front tire into it. Since it's not very steep, I still want to use a little bit of brake. But if it's a very harsh impact, you might be able to get away without even using the brake at all. So if you slam the front tire in and use that rebound, it will help you be able to continue your momentum and not slow down quite as much. Here's an example of when being able to pivot off of something can be very beneficial. The corner is around this big rock, through all these jumbly rocks, but I can actually just come in here, slam the front tire off of this one here, and use that to help lift the front end, and plant my foot on this one, control the wheelie around, look where I want to land, get back in the foot peg, get on the power, and cruise on out of the corner. You want to be sure to practice these to the left and to the right because you never know which direction you ought to go when you're stuck on a trail somewhere. The only real difference is you don't have control over the rear brake when you're turning to the right since your foot's on the ground. So you have to rely on clutch and throttle control to keep from looping out, keep the front tire exactly where you want it. I know for me, turning to the left is much easier, so I'm going to continue to work on my rights and also work on laking them together. 